Hello YouTube, today I'll be showing you how to reinstall the Beidou app. It's called Beidou Input. That's uh, basically what it is. It's the iPhone keyboard. Uh, some people are wanting to get rid of the uh, Chinese apps and accidentally deleted this application which gives you this uh, uh, look-alike iPhone keyboard. So what I'm going to show you today is uh, how to reinstall it because if you just put it on the root of your SD card and you try reinstalling it from there it will give you an error uh, saying that it is unable to install it okay so first I'm gonna delete the application I will not have a keyboard just to demonstrate you how to reinstall it basically what you have done before is that you accidentally deleted this app just like I am gonna do right now uh, so you possibly already have it installed so you don't have to do this. I'm doing this just for demonstration purposes. I'm going to uninstall the application. Once you have the, uh, the application uninstalled, which is uh, Beidou uh, input, you're not going to see a keyboard and you're going to be wondering, okay, how do I get that back? Okay, uh, first I'll be uh, providing a link on where to get the application, okay? Now, once you get the application and you download it, uh, you will see uh, the application right here on either, uh, some people have it differently, I have it on my desktop, I already downloaded it, you're going to see it says Beidou Input, okay? So next thing you're going to do is, uh, I have a docking station, uh, for those who don't have a docking station, just connect your uh, Google Apple through the regular uh, USB. Um, I know there's going to be some questions on where did I get this um, uh, docking station. This is uh, the docking station for an iPhone 2G. Okay, I purchased it on eBay. Um, so it works perfectly and it, and it can be synchronized with your PC uh, easily. Okay, so coming back to the subject, once you get it connected, okay. You're going to hear that on your PC. You're going to see that it says um, uh, USB debugging connected and so on and so forth. So what you're going to do is you're going to drag it down and you're going to connect USB through your PC. Then we're going to wait here for a second. So now we're going to see the message prompted on the desktop. Okay, here it is. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to open folder to view files. And there are all your files from this SD card which it is located inside the phone. Okay? So what you're going to do is uh, you're going to drag uh, the, the application that I showed you earlier. You're going to drag it onto your phone's SD card. Okay? So in my case, I already dragged it. Uh, you can do it either um, uh, on a folder or you can do it on the root of the SD card. In my case, I put it on the download folder. Okay, but you can put it just anywhere on the SD card as long as you know where it is. Okay, now you're going to come back to your phone and you're going to turn off the USB storage right here. Okay. Now that it's been turned off, we're going to hit on the uh, home button and we're going to wait a couple of seconds until all the apps load up. Um, once it loads up, now we're going to go to Astro File Manager. Now what you're going to do is, once you get to um, Astro File Manager, you're going to look for the folder, which I use download folder, and you're going to tap on it and you're going to search for the application that we downloaded and it is right there okay so that's a good sign now we're gonna go back to the home okay and what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this application called uh, root explorer okay okay we're gonna use the application root explorer now we're going to go to SD card folder once you go there and now we're going to search for the same folder that we searched earlier which is uh, download folder 
which is right there. Okay, we're going to tap on it. Now there's the application that we uh, uh, downloaded earlier and we placed it on the SD card. Now you're going to long press the application and we're going to tap on copy. Now you're going to see at the very bottom it says paste cancel. So we're going to go back. Okay, we're going to go back twice until uh, we see this at the very uh, top, which is forward slash. Okay, we, we, we cannot see anything such as SD card. It has to be um, on the very beginning. So now what we're going to go down to system. And we're going to go to app. Now we're going to paste here the Beidou input application. Okay. So as you can see, it's right there. Now, um, this is where uh, it denies uh, being installed. It's because the permissions are not set up correctly. So now we're going to long press it. We're going to tap on permissions. And as you can see, permissions are incorrectly. Okay, the correct permissions are as follow. Just like that. Okay, so you, if anything else is checked, you uncheck it. It has to be the exact same way I have it here. Now we're going to tap on OK. And now we can go back to the home page. Once we get there, uh, on this case I use um, Quick Boot. I don't know if you can see that. Sorry, it's a little bit out of focus. Now we're going to go to Quick Boot. Or you can just simply turn off your phone and then turn it back on. Um, but if you have Quick Boot, then you're going to hit Reboot Phone and now it's going to reboot okay now the phone is rebooting there it is there we have it now we're going to slide to unlock There it is, all the applications. Now we're going to search. Now, if you go uh, uh, page through page, you just slide it over, you're going to see that Beidou input has been installed. Okay? It is right there. Okay? And the reason I'm posting this video is because if you simply try to. Uh, download it and place it on your SD card and then install it, it's going to give you um, application not installed. So this is a perfect way on how to do it. Okay, now we have the application, now we're going to see again the keyboard. Oops, Let's get that back. There it is. The iPhone style keyboard is working again. Okay. So this is how you do it. Uh, if you have any questions, like always, please let me know and I'll be more than glad to answer any questions you might have. Thanks for watching and have a good one.